I planted the wheat, I watered the wheat, I harvested the wheat. Now do I get to tell my story? said the little red hen. Say, what's going on here? Why is that page blank? Is that my page? Where's that lazy dog? Where's that lazy cat? Where's that lazy mouse? How do they expect me to tell the whole story by myself? Where's that lazy narrator? Where's that lazy illustrator? Where's that lazy author? Well, unfortunately, our next one is called, our next tale is called Jack's Bean Problem. Forget that hen. Now it's time for the best story in the whole book. My story. Because once upon a time, I traded our last cow for three magic beans and, hey giant, what are you doing down here? You're wrecking my whole story. I don't like that story, said the giant. You always trick me. But that's the best part, said Jack. Fee, fi, bum, fory. I have made my own story. Great rhyme, giant. And I'm sure your story is just as good. But there's no room for it, so why don't you just climb back up the beanstalk? I'll be back in a few minutes to steal your gold and your singing harp. I'll grind your bones to make my bread. I knew you'd understand. And here's another thing that's been bugging me. Could you please stop talking in uppercase letters? It really messes up the page. I will read my story now, said the giant. And he did. Wow. What a, what a collage. Anyway, giant story. The end of the evil stepmother said, I'll huff and snuff and give you three wishes. The beast changed into seven dwarves happily ever after, for a spell had been cast by a wicked witch once upon a time. Yeah, that, that doesn't make any sense. That's your story, said Jack. You gotta be kidding. That's not a fairly stupid tale. That's an incredibly stupid tale. That's an unbelievably stupid tale. This is the most stupid tale I ever... Ah! The giant grabbed Jack and dragged him to the next page. Jack's story. Once upon a time, there was a giant. The giant squeezed Jack and said, Tell me a better story or I will grind your bones to make my bread. And when your story is finished, I will grind your bones to make my bread anyway. Ho, ho, ho. The giant laughed an ugly laugh. Jack laughed. He'll kill me if I do. He'll kill me if I don't. There's only one way to get out of this. Jack cleared his throat and began his story. Once upon a time, there was a giant. The giant squeezed Jack and said, Tell me a better story or I will grind your bones to make my bread. And when your story's finished, I will grind your bones to make my bread anyway. Ho, ho, ho. The giant laughed an ugly laugh. Jack thought, He'll kill me if I do. He'll kill me if I don't. There's only one way to get out of this. Jack cleared his throat and began his story. Once upon a time, there was a giant. The giant squeezed Jack and said, Tell me a better story or I'll grind your bones to make thy bread. And when your story's finished, I'll grind your bones to make thy bread anyway. Ho, ho, ho. The giant laughed an ugly laugh. Jack thought, He'll kill me if I do. He'll kill me if I don't. There's only one way to get out of this. Jack cleared his throat and began his story. Once upon a time, there was a giant. The giant squeezed Jack and said, Tell me a better story or I'll grind your bones to make my bread. And when your story is finished, I will grind your bones to make my bread anyway. Ho, ho, ho. The giant laughed an ugly laugh. Jack thought, You'll kill me if I do. You'll kill me if I don't. There's only one way to get out of this. Jack cleared his throat and began his story. You know what? This book just goes on. You know, that this story just goes on forever and ever. Why don't we skip to the next book? Why don't we just skip to the next story?